Here we have basefan.com's latest arrival, the 6x2 Citroen Relay. Five tonne gross weight, has been a youth community uh, vehicle uh, for a council in the lovely orange. I think they were designing it to be a submarine by the looks of the windows. I am interesting and I'm anticipating what this is going to be used for, what application someone's going to buy this for. Um, there's a variety of things really, shop, camper van, um, once again providing um, support to local communities etc. Mobile classroom, sold them for that in the past as well. Condition wise, it's really good. Um, it's done 2,800 miles and for those miles uh, I'm not sure how good the operator was because there is a little bit of damage on the bodywork. Um, fortunately, it won't cost a lot to repair. This is just GRP side, so you can fiberglass it, you can fill over it, sand it down, paint it straight on top of it. Of course, you, would, you wouldn't need to paint it. You just need to fill her and sand over it um, because I imagine a lot of people might consider putting a wrap on this vehicle. So, as you can see there, that arrow going down, that's a stabilizing leg. And same at the front. So if you're parked up on a field or something like that, uh, you can ensure that you are on level ground. As you can see, it's got a satellite dish in the top. It used to have a TV in there. We'll get to that in a second, though. What does the cab of a vehicle that's done 2,800 miles look like. Let's have a look then. I think it's probably the lowest mileage vehicle I've ever bought. Electric windows, electric mirrors. Master switch under bonnet, so therefore it's got an isolator under the bonnet. Thanks Robbie. It drove in uh, 70 miles and it was three parts full. We've since sent it to our um, valeting place, which is probably a 35 mile round trip. So um, it's done 100 miles and it's used half a tank of fuel. So it's not particularly good on fuel, these old 2.8 iVeco engines, but they are pretty robust. They do tend to last forever, especially on a vehicle that's done 2,822 miles. There you go, some overall dimensions just here. If you're thinking camper van, hopefully you've got a driver that's 28 foot long. Right, let's knock that off. We have the V5 here. Um, it's got a valid MOT for about 11 months. That was carried out by the council prior to us purchasing it slash collecting it. Uh, my sister's just arrived. I imagine she's going to interrupt my video. But hey. Nice big awning on the side, manual, less to go wrong. Stand up on the office steps. Get a good idea of what this is like. So, let's jump over here. She's jennied up, so we'll go ahead and prime the fuel. And we'll see if this vehicle or this generator, should I say. And she's in. Just there, add some, uh, add some petrol to your generator. Looks like there's a bulb out there. Those two are okay. Ceiling likewise. They ought to be all in good standing. <coughs> Pardon me. I've already tried the aircon unit out. That's working nicely. There is a remote somewhere. So she's the teller. Um, there's a complete instruction manual here. That obviously is no longer necessary because it doesn't have a printer in here. Um, but it does have a space heater, it does have a water heater. And it probably doesn't have an awning guarantee anymore, um, but it does have a generator and air conditioning unit. So yeah, quick.
quick flick through that. It's quite comprehensive. I haven't really looked at it. I'm pretty well versed with these vans at this point. Uh, there's not really a great deal to them. So you've got a sink, um, um, warm water, water pump, water heater. Like that. Water tank. There's your pump. And there's not a great deal else in here. That looks like it empties straight out onto the floor. In here, by the way, they have been locked now. Um, we have got the key. Um, you basically just got two 40 volt outlets in there. So let's say, for example, you were to use this as a mobile classroom, you could have four or five students there, depending on whether social distancing is still required, working on computers. Um, nice sitting area here. The Ebus Batcher diesel heater is situated underneath this seat, and so is the control. Not the most ergonomic place of all time. I definitely wouldn't put it there, but hey, that's where it is. You just go ahead and press that thing there, and in a couple minutes' time, it'll take fuel from the engine's diesel tank, and you'll be warm, providing that door shut. So, there's the air conditioning control unit. Turn it on. That'll kick in in just a second when we do that, we're we going to isolate it. Curvesy lights, scene lights, which is the outside lights. And you basically got internal lights. So there's not a great deal, um, not a great deal on this vehicle, uh, on this conversion in here. I can't quite remember what was in here. Just a couple of 240 outlets, look like something to do with the aerial there. Um, this here is a disability access ramp. Undo those clips there, each side, and you can put those falling off. Position it just there for disabled access. So we'll go over and kill the generator. Let's have a gander underneath. Nice corrosion proof looking chassis. Yeah, it's all looking good. This body's really good. Um, I mean, perhaps, um, you know, if, for example, if you're a company in London, and you like the body, and you think it's going to give you a head start on some project you're going to do, these are what you like to call a Zuckoff chassis. So what happens is, when it comes out of the Citroen factory, um, it's basically, the vehicle is just, essentially, there's no more than that. That's all they have, and this body's made elsewhere. So you could get a newer um, Citroen Relay Persia Boxer Fiat Ducato Zuckoff version and stick it on there. That's Euro 6 compliant, etc. Um, but once again, I think that one of the main benefits of this is, is that it's going really low mileage and they're going to be reliable. You can get parts everywhere for these vans. Um, so yeah, hope you found this video useful. Um, we've got loads of exhibition units and everything else here at basevan.com. Um, over 100 vehicles, regular. Um, uh, re uh, on a regular basis, we get new vehicles in stock. Um, we're pretty good um, at... Um, diagnosing problems on vehicles etc we're used to getting these vehicles in we're pretty good um, at rewiring stuff if that's the sort of thing you want um, but yeah hope you found this video useful and um, I look, for, look forward to hearing from you